G'day, let's have a quick look at this magnetic levitator. What you do is you get this magnet, which is just a normal round magnet. You put it in the center and then these four coils here will end up pushing the magnet up while these four permanent magnets on the side actually pull it down. So the way that works is you just place that magnet in the middle and you can kind of see that is now spinning and rotating around and that is now purely levitating off of that magnetic force on there. So this module here is a DIY. So when you get this, you get all of the components on their own and then you do have to put it together. So uh, there's really good instructions with this actually step by step. So you get all your resistors, you get all the capacitors and then kind of solder in the diodes, the variable potentiometers over here, which are used for fine tuning. And then you just put the MOSFETs and the final few transistors in and that's pretty much it. There's a lot of, um, a lot of little components, but quite simple how this actually works. So the way this works is right on top here, you can see this three Hall effect sensors. So they're all for three different directions, so X, Y, and Z. And what they do is they just sense the position of that magnet with respect to the coils and these magnets. Because as I mentioned before, this actually has four permanent magnets. So these ones here on the outside are permanent magnets. So that's what pulls the magnet down or this magnet here down. And then these four coils on the inside actually get actuated and that's what provides that active balancing to this magnet. And that's how this levitation is actually achieved. So you can see you just place it on there and it is relatively stable. You can tune it, as I said, using these two potentiometers over here and you just kind of moves this magnet around in the X and Y direction just to achieve that stable levitation. So once you've got that, you can actually put things on top of this, although, as I said, this one's only rated for 150 grams, so not much, but you can put little bits of wood or this little magnetic paper here on top and then it will just spin around as there's virtually no friction physical friction, but there is obviously still still that air resistance. It will eventually slow it down, but it is also a little bit unstable. So it does wobble around and then at the position of that helicopter up, they can just move around a little bit and you can see that then the rotation can speed up and just change based on that. So this is a really cool little gadget. You do have to put it together, but once it is, then you can have this kind of really cool party trick, I guess. Um, I'm not sure what a practical use of this is, but you can put this in a case and then have something on top that just floats on top for display. So that would be a really good uh, use. Although some of these components do heat up quite a bit when they are running. Um, so I'm not sure how this will go for long term having it in hours and hours at a time. I probably had it on for about 45 minutes, maybe close to an hour. And some of these bits did get hot, uh, but it wasn't too bad. But whether you have this on for a whole day, um, I'm not sure if that's, that's going to be, it's going to work. So what you can actually use this for is you can find something that fits on top of this magnet and then put it on top. And when this is on, it'll just endlessly sort of float there and spin around. So it's a really nice little display feature. If you want to display something, something really cool, you can also buy or make another case for this as well. Put this within a case, and then you've got a really nice display. So with this specific model, the height of the levitation of that magnet is about a centimeter, so just over a quarter inch. So enough to see it, and it does look better in person. Obviously on camera, you can see it there, it does show up, but it is a little bit more mesmerizing in person when you do see it, especially when you move your head around with respect to that magnet, and it just kind of stays locked in there, in, in just floating in space, obviously. You can't see how it's connected. So this is a really cool, mesmerizing little, little party trick, I guess, if you do want to have something on display like this. You do just have to keep an eye out on the temperature of the components because those MOSFETs and the amplifiers will heat up quite a bit. So over time, it might get too hot and you might have to turn it off. Again, the way that this does work is this is purely analog. There's no digital components in this. So the whole effect sensors just sense the magnetic flux of the magnet they send it down to the op amps here. So there's uh, four op amps in each of these chips and they're just used to amplify those signals. And then they pretty much just get passed through these transistors here, which then switch it on and off. So each of these coils then get that active control directly analog. So it's all directly proportional to that physical magnet. The really nice thing about that is there's no code, there's no programming, nothing of that because it's not digital. So it's really nice and easy. And the way you adjust it is these, just these two potentiometers on the side here. So you just rotate them. Uh, they're obviously very variable resistance just to shift that resistance over and then fine tune the, the amplification um, that gets put out to these coils. Now, when you do that, so when you first build this, you do have to play around with it quite a bit to get all that adjusted. But once you do get it adjusted, the magnet kind of sits on top pretty easy. It is quite easy to tell where it wants to sit and then you kind of put it there and it will just sit there on its own. And you can see here, if it does sit off center like that, all you've got to do is grab a little screwdriver and just adjust this potentiometer. So I went the wrong way there, but as you do that, you will physically see the magnet shift towards one direction.
All right, so this is definitely a final little build. It takes about an hour to hour and a half to actually put together and build, uh, which is a lot of fun if you do want it as a little bit of a project. And then once you do have it built, it is pretty cool. As I said, a little bit of a party trick and it is pretty mesmerizing just kind of watching that magnet just float there and actually be physically locked in mid air. It's just, it's really cool. As I said, it's really cool to see this in person. So you can get these in different weights. So if you do actually wanna use it to display something on top, make sure you get one of the bigger modules that has a higher weight capacity. And in those, the magnet does also float higher, which is really cool because the, the higher you can get it, the cooler this will look. So that's it, there'll be links to this below. If you wanna check it out, you do need some DIY knowledge, basically just soldering, but the instructions are pretty well and everything is laid out really well. And there is also instructional videos on how to actually build this. So it really wasn't too bad to put together. Again, links below, cool little thing. Feel free to check it out and have a good one.